How the fuck? Sometimes I shoot when my gun gun shoots twice. Running, I'm going on my gun. Yo, what's good guys, it is Riley, and welcome back to another Road to Dark Matter video. And today, I got the M60 Gold video for you guys. Just like the other LMGs, this LMG is pretty beast. Out of the three, though, I would probably rank it as the worst. It feels super clunky when you're using it, but we still made it work. I hit a bunch of clips for you guys, and I also dropped a nuclear with this gun. Like I said in yesterday's video, I did get an M60 nuke. I'm super stoked about that to show you guys that gameplay, which will be coming after the class setup shortly. But I have all the primary guns gold now, so all I have to do is the secondaries and then I will have dark matter unlocked I'm not really sure how I'm gonna structure the videos in the future with the secondaries because it's nearly impossible to get a gameplay with any of those guns with how skill based matchmaking is so I will probably just shadow play a ton of highlights for you guys and just share those with you and then obviously I'll pop in for a commentary at the end and show off dark matter for you guys and then that'll be the end of the series so yeah guys now that we got all that out of the way let's hop right into the class setup for the m60 Alright guys, let's hop right into the M60 class setup right now. If you like playing aggressive, dropping 100 bombs, dropping streaks, dropping nukes, whatever it is, and you want to use the M60, this is the class setup for you, so let's get right into it. So to start us off, I do not like the iron sights on this gun whatsoever, so I do throw the millstop reflex red dot on. Just makes it a whole lot cleaner and it's just a lot better of a sight than the iron sight for the muzzle i rock the socom eliminator it gives us vertical recoil control as well as some muzzle flash concealment so when you're spraying at people the bullet sprays and sparks and flashes don't really affect your view you can still see the enemies well for the barrel i rock the 22.8 inch task force this just gives us everything in regards to damage for the under barrel i rock the field agent grip not really much to this just vertical and horizontal recoil control and lastly for the wrap i rock the airborne elastic wrap this gives us ads time flinch resistance and it allows us to aim while going prone so it's really good the ads time is probably the most beneficial for this gun it allows you to aim in quick with these lmgs they aim in quite slow so once you unlock this you'll find it a lot more enjoyable being able to ads quicker and take out enemies so that's going to be it for me guys i'm going to leave you with the nuclear gameplay that i did drop earlier it's an absolute banger so make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoy the video at any point in time that's going to be it for me guys take care and i will see you in the next video Oh, that. It's still weird. Maybe I just need to get back into the game for a sec. Yeah. Uh, I got it. I'm crouching all the time for what? He's stirring. I got a harp.
They changed the spawns a bit. M60. Your boy is streaking. Gotta drop another nuke. Shaky. I'm on a 22. 23. I almost have my war machine. Nuke. Let's go. I'm gonna see how far. Oh, they have a helicopter. Going back in the building. Let's go. Oh. Two nukes, nukes today. today. You literally hit one and now you just can't stop. Oh, fuck. I'm still streaking still right now. Right now. God, you just God, saved me. Save me. I did? No. I finally died. Holy died. shit. Holy that was like a that 40. I can't believe I just dropped another nuke. Crazy. Kill stealer, and then I get killed.
Got another harp. 99 and 16 with a nuke. I almost made up my plus minus. Holy! 